All right, San Diego, we are back. And it's time for us to continue our franchise mode here with the Padres and MLB The Show 18. We're still here in year number one, but we left the last video following our double-A squad, the San Antonio Missions, through, I don't know what it's called, round one of the playoffs. <laughs> we had a three-game sweep, which was good. We're following our shortstop prospect, Fernando Tatis Jr., and now we're going up against Arkansas. I don't know if this is the final or not, but I thought we would devote this video to the final with our double-A squad. So five games best of five so we got to win three i'll leave critical situations on for right now just uh so we can go in for game one or two i'll show you the players that we will be targeting uh fernando tatis or tatis jr our shortstop but also josh naylor this guy might be a pretty good hitting left-handed batter up against righties in the future and he's also from canada 20 years of age 64 overall b potential so if we get a uh, critical situation with one of these two guys hell yeah we'll jump in there um and also if it gets to a game four or game five we'll go in there with fernando and play a uh, a player lock game and i'm hoping that we can can also get to the end of the regular season for our San Diego Padres in this video as well. We only have one more month to go and then it's a very micromanaging type offseason here in MLB The Show 18. I don't like what they've done with some of the offseason things but we'll get to that later. Right now it's double A and the uh, what is it the Texas final or something I've no clue man. Oh my god so a little go to calendar yeah critical situations is on. Game one up against Arkansas which uh, hang on a sec Hang on a sec. September 7th we're on right now. So where is that? So it's right there. So I'll actually follow the MLB squad up until the 11th. That's what we can do, just in case anything pops up. So two more games. Cincinnati, uh, they are 65 and 67. We lose that 3-6. to six. Remember, we're trying to have a really bad end to the season so that we can have a great draft pick next season. And, uh, oh yeah, the losing streak continues, boys. Last game of the series up against Cincinnati. Ooh, critical, critical situation. Myers has two home runs already today. Make it three. Well, we need Will Myers to continue to play well so that he can uh, really utilize that B potential and grow his overall for year number two. But we're not focusing on that in this video. Maybe uh, something towards the end of the season, but not right now. Simulate to the end of the game. The Padres have defeated the Padres. Uh, the Padres have defeated the Reds. The Padres, Jesus. Seven to two. Worst hand in poker. All right, so we're going to go back to the double A squad. Let us follow this. Game number one, San Antonio. And that'd be us, the missions, up against Arkansas. We got Jacob Nick up against Marco Gonzalez. Game one, here we go. Critical situation. You've got a one-run lead to protect. Close it out with Vernon Ruiz. All right, let's go. So here we are, game one. It's Gordon Beckham up to the plate, and we have our closer. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Ruiz? Luis Ru Ruiz? How, how good of a pitcher is this guy? Doesn't show his uh, potential. I have no clue if this is one of our... Um, uh, uh, pitchers of the future. I wish. 22 years of age, 66 overall. Don't, can't tell his potential, but we're going to use him and we'll see what happens. We also have uh, Tatis Jr. at shortstop and Josh Naylor at first. So we can see their defensive capabilities if it comes to that. So what do we have here? We have the top of the ninth. Yeah, we're at home. Top of the ninth. We are up by one. One out. The tying run is at second. The go-ahead run is at home. So we're not walking to put another, uh, another runner on. Let's try to start this off with a nice little two-seam. Uh, let's go down and in, so if it's a ground ball, it's over to third. We can keep the runner on second. Ah, there it is. Beautiful. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Some good pitch location and control shown by Ruiz. I like that two-seam. I did hit it perfect, but look, it landed perfectly as well. Uh, let's try a nice little slider below the strike zone right there, down and away. Ooh, not bad. I missed my spot, but at least he uh, he missed the strike zone. I'll take that. Uh, let's try that curveball. A little down low. There we go, Ruiz. No a wild pitch. There you go. Hit it perfect again. Still missed the strike zone. I'm going to have to use my uh, two seam here to get back in this count. All right, let's go low again. Same spot. Let's keep on pitching low against this guy. Two seam in there. <laughs> he goes hacking. So I don't know if that two seam has a lot of uh, movement on. He's even shaking his head. He can't believe. And then I'll go with the splitter to finish it off. Just below the strike zone. Get a ground ball if I can. Look like a four seam until the break. Boom. Oh, he gets a piece of it, though. The split finger. Late on it, below the strike zone, still gets a piece. All right, let's go two seam, high and in. There it is. Don't hit a, don't give up a home run here. Oh, not where I want to uh, locate that two seam. Now he was late on it, but still, that could be uh, a home run if I mess that up. Ah, uh, two and two. Let's go back with a splitter. Let's try to hit the bottom part of the strike zone right there. There it is. Split ball. Whoa, that thing. No, that thing hung. That was way up in the strike zone. Let's see. 
Oh god, it missed, but jeez, yeah, that was way too high. It still caught the, it would have been a strike, so he had to swing. Dangerous. Ah, uh, slider? We'll try the slider, backdoor slider again. Let's see if we can get it to stick this time. Ah, perfect. Oh, man, this guy is a foul tipping machine right now. I can't get him to strike out. Uh, two seam again. Get it. You know what? I've been getting them to swing at the two seam down and in, and I got them to look when I hit the strike zone. So I'll go down and in, two seam again. Here it is. Oh, come on! I'm blind, I'm plump. I want to be an ump. Give me that freaking strike and hit the black on the right, hit the black on the bottom. Ow, oh, that could have been a perfect pitch. All right, three and two. Ah, throw the two seam again for a strike. Here you go. You want to hit it? Hit it. I'm not walking this guy. Down and in. Ah. Oh, I walked. Oh, oh, no. The tying run has been hit home. And our cat, our closer. Damn, he had some good stuff. That two seam. This man on second, though, he would not just strike out. He would not go down. How many foul tips was that? Oh, we got a 3-3 game. All right. So, you know what? Now it's time to go into auto mode. I, I, I messed up. Quick manage. I messed up. So, good luck here. Vernon Ruiz. Can I take a... No, I can't take a look at his potential from here either. Good luck, my man. One out. Pitch. Strikeout. And Joe DiCarlo pitch strike out. So he does get out of the inning. Not before the damage was done, though. Nice little double to right field. All right, so bottom of the ninth, we have a tie game. Come on, walk it off. Buddy Reed, ground out. Matt, uh, I might even try to pronounce that. Swing, walk. All right, here we go. Shane Peterson, swing, double play. Unreal. All right, Vernon Ruiz. Do I leave him in there? No, he's our closer. So I'm going to bring in someone else. Pitching change. Let's go with our long relief. Yeah, Tyler J. Here we go. I, re I recognize this name. Tyler J. Throw him in there. Good luck, my man. Pitch ground out. Second pitch walk. Uh, Zach Shank. Pitch stolen base. The go-ahead run is in scoring position. Pitch single, and that's going, going to be a run scored. RBI single right there for Shank. Next up, Joey Curletta. Pitch strikeout. Eugene Helder. Pitch ground out. All right. Fernando Tatis Jr. Let's go. And I got Josh Naylor right after it. So we can see if we can get a man on and then a walk off. That's a lot. <laughs> but we'll see what we can do. 0 for 4 for Fernando in this game. Not too good. Up against a lefty. Power versus lefties is at 60. Contacts at 62. I can definitely uh, I can hit something here. Oh, shit. I should take a look at uh, what this guy's throwing. Hang on. Alvarez. 2 seam at 92. Change up slider and a 4 seam. All right. So nothing too overpowering here. You see? Yeah, I know, I know. I should hang in slide, or I know. I was looking for seam. I'm not swinging at that first pitch. I got to see what this guy's throwing first. Just give me a second to get my batter's eye or hitter's eye on. Boom! Oh, man. Is that another slider? Or was it a changeup? That thing was a hanger. It was a changeup right down the middle, and I'm early. See, I'm thinking four seam, and look what I start doing. All right, we got to get on base. Just go for a single. Don't pop it up. Try to beat it out. Oh, you got to swing at that. Yeah, I don't know. Was that going to be a ball? Was it going to be outside? I had to swing at it. Let's see. No, it was a strike. Good job swinging at that. Come on, Fernando. This guy's throwing meatballs. Come on, take advantage. Oh, no! Man, I knew it. I knew it. I tried to check swing. I tried to let go of it. Fernando Tatis Jr. 0 for 5. All right, boys. Now, now no excuse. I'm warm. Josh Naylor, the Canadian. The future replacement for uh, Eric Hosmer. Let's see. Now, against lefties, not the greatest. He's better against righties. But I'm still going to try to hit with him. After this, we'll do the simulation. Oh, taking that four seam. All right, so now he throws a four seam. Those two first pitches, man. I had the chance to take it yard, and I messed up in a big way. Come on, Josh. No, nope, taking that four seam up and away. No, thank you. Why couldn't you have started off the last at bat like that? That's what I was looking for. I was looking for his four seam just so I could see how fast it was. Excuse me, two hanging off speeds. There you go. Change up low in the strike zone. I knew that was going to be a strike. I didn't want it, though. One and two. All right, Naylor. Let's just go for a home run here. Aiming up. Nope, slider on the outside part of the plate. I can see that. I got my hitter's eye now. I've seen enough from this pitcher. Two and two. Just don't swing at anything high. Nope, slider again. All right, we got ourselves a three and two count. Come on, Josh. Take it yard, take it yard, take it yard. Nope. Oh, geez, that was a little closer than I wanted it to be. Good hitter's eye shown by Josh Naylor. Gets himself on the bags. All right, so Diego Gores is up next. Yeah, I don't know who these guys are. We have five games to go. Could be a long video, and I also like to get the end of the uh, regular season done. So uh, let's go to quick manage and finish the game this way, okay? Diego Gore, swing, double. Josh Naylor scores, baby, and that is the tying run. Good job, boys. Nick Schultz 
Strikeout and Estuary Ruiz single. Woohoo! Was Ruiz the... No, that was our second baseman. I was going to say, there's no way that's our closing pitcher, right? The missions have defeated the Travelers 5-4. to four. So, with my hitter's eye, I uh, get on with Josh Naylor. Ends up being the tying run, and then the computers do the rest for me. Perfect. All right, so let's get back to the menu. Okay, so game one, five to four victory for your San Antonio Missions. Let's keep it going. Game number two, Sim. They take it seven to five. All right, so we got a 1-1 series tie. We're going to Arkansas. 1-1 series tie. Game number three goes to them. All right, we're going to have to jump in there now, it seems like. It could be over. So uh, hang on, acquisitions. What's happened here? Transactions. Is it just call-ups? Yeah, the Mets have called up a prospect. Don't care about that. All right, so play the next game. I want to make sure I don't accidentally skip anything here. Yeah, play the next game. Let me just check out calendar. Oh, my God. There you go. So we're on that day. Play the next. Whoa, hang on. Come on the okay, play the next game. I keep on trying to uh, go to the left. I'm still getting used to this. Uh, player lock. Here we go. Now, we did Fernando Tatis Jr. last time. This time, should we go with Josh Naylor, see what we can hit? Who is the uh, the opposing pitcher is a right-handed pitcher? Josh Naylor's got that 61 power. Got good discipline, got good clutch. But then again, Fernando Tatis Jr. is our uh, shortstop stud of the future. He can also hit. You know what? If we can get to a game five, I'll go with Fernando. For right now, I want to try out the uh, the first baseman with the power. The Canadian, Josh Naylor. All right? Let's go. So here we go. Game number four. And Arkansas can win the championship or advance to the next round. I don't know which one it is. But they've got to get through San Antonio here. If San Antonio can win, we can force a game five. Josh Naylor is up. One out. Bottom or top of the second. So let's see what this pitcher's throwing. Let me take the first pitch just to see. All right, four seam at 92 miles per hour. You're going to call that a strike? All right, so the umpire. Blind and plump. All right, so Whalen. Waylon Smithers, uh, 93 four seam, 92 seam, curveball, 12 six down there at 77. So I should be able to see that no problem. Uh, the changeup at 84. Okay, so he's got some got some things here. If he hangs that curveball, take advantage because it's so slow. You should be able to uh, recognize it in time. Notice that it's a hanger and just blast that sucker. I want to see what kind of pop Josh Naylor has against righties. Taking that. There you go. All right, so this umpire, that one should have been a strike. The first one should have been a ball. It looks like his strike zone is a little bit higher than normal. Two and one's the count. Come on, Naylor. He's got a good hitter's eye, too. Taking the old man. Was I late? Was I early? Did I just get under it? Just early. All right, foul tip. A little high. This guy's thrown nothing but four seams. Ah, uh, we want to get on base here. It's one out. Yeah, let's go. Ahead. Let's just hit it down. Let's just hit it down for a single. Oh, geez, there it is. Single to right field. I don't know if that was the curveball or the changeup. That thing was slow as molasses. And number 87. Oh, Crosby. Sidney Crosby, baby. The Canadian gets on with a single into right field. Beautiful. All right. So, so far, I like hitting with uh, Josh Naylor. Today, that's a walk and a single. So, I'm one for one with a walk and a single. Not bad. All right. So, next up, we got Lewin Diaz. Now... Okay, good. So it seems like it's on action pitches. The count is already 0-1. One. one out. Come on, baby. Don't hit into a double play. Diaz. The pitch. The swing. It's hit into left field. Beautiful. Naylor, are we going? No, no, no. We're definitely not going. I do not have the speed. I've got to figure out what are the... Okay, so if I hold down R1, that looks at the ball. I've got to figure out the camera angles for this. When I'm on the bases, how do I look at the ball? How do I look at my third base coach? It's different than the last game. That's for damn sure. 0-2 is the count. Josh Naylor is on second base. The go-ahead run. Come on, baby. Hit me home. 0-2 is the count, though. Not good. Could be a strikeout. The pitch. That's a grounder. Oh, if I hold down R1. Yeah, there you go. I look at the ball by holding down R1. And they're going to turn two, which means the inning was over or is over. All right, so my uh, my single not good enough. I want to be hitting for power with Josh Naylor, but still got to get some backup for my team. All right, so let's see if we get on the defensive end of things. No, we don't. Josh Naylor, one for one with a single in the second. The score is tied 1-1. We are at the top of the fourth. Same pitcher. No excuses. Let's go. No, oh, I should have swung. I should have swung. Knew it right away. All right, now I got it locked in my mind. Now I know with the 4C misses and it's there, that's the one you want to swing at. All right, come on. Taking that. Yeah, change up low. I think the one that I got the hit off was the curveball because it was slow. It was slower than that. I was surprised I actually even hit the ball, to be honest. Taking that. Four seam way out there, man. No control on this pitcher right now. Two and one's the count. Come on, baby. Attack the strike zone. Nope. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it definitely got my hitter's eye now with Naylor. They do not want to attack him. The 1-4 seam, yeah, sure, but ever since that, 3-1's the count. Got green light. Green!
Green light! Green light! Green light nailer! He goes yard! Yeah, baby! The Canadian! I told ya! I was waiting on that four seam. He threw it the first pitch. I got it to a three and one count. He threw the exact same four seam in the exact same location. Already saw it once. Got my hitter's eye trained up now, boys. And the Canadian, Josh Naylor, hits a bomb, a solo bomb. 350 feet to right field. I gotta say, I like hitting with them. I like hitting with them. There's some players that you just like hitting with. The lefty against right handed pitching. Against left handed pitching, I'm I'm not going to be great with. That's why that's like my kryptonite in this game. I can do righty versus righty, lefty versus lefty, not so much. But a right-handed pitcher versus a left-handed batter, some of them are just outstanding. I love his stance, and so far, what is that? Two for two with a dinger, a single, and a walk in this video. I'm loving the Canadian. Oh, we got defense. We got defense. All right, let's go, Crosby. Josh Naylor. Come on, we can replace Eric Hosmer one day. There we go. The pitch. The hit. Ooh, back off, back off. Easy pop fly. There you go. Naylor getting under it. No problem. The Canadian gets the put out. What's it called? The put out? Shit, man. I really got to work on my baseball vocabulary. At least I got the skill, though. Two for two with a home run, a single, an RBI. All right. So we have the lead, a one run lead. Another, uh, another. Ooh, hang on, new pitcher. Another solo bomb would be very beneficial. Armstrong. Uh, okay, this guy's going to be a little bit different. His four seam is overpowered. Mm, I wouldn't say overpowering, but for my reaction speed, 93, 94 is something that I can handle. Once we get to 95 and above, I could swing and miss. He could throw it above the strike zone. I could swing and then just get struck out. Now, the cut, the 12-6 uh, the curve, the changeup is fantastic. That velocity, 95 four seam down to an 81 changeup, and then he's got a two seam as well. So it's new pitcher. I have my hitter's eye, but I got to take a pitch or two unless he throws four seam first pitch right down the middle that's what i'm looking for four seam right down the middle nope no look at that cut look at that cut you see that break Ooh, that thing i thought it was going for a ball i thought it was a four seam up and away and it ends up cutting across the outside part of the uh, strikes that was nice taking that there's that change up real slow looked like a change up though it didn't have a uh, great movement to it might be a little too slow actually here we go come on Nah, taking that. Man, I almost swung. That cutter, that thing looked like a four seam inside, but I was like, you know what? No. Even if I hit, it won't be great. Two and one. All right. Hitter's eye. I, you know what? I'm glad. I, I don't want to swing at any one of those three. He likes his cutter, though. Look at that. Four seam now? Nope. Nah, cutter again. This guy loves that cut fastball. Holy shit. And he's throwing in the outside part of the plate. All right. Go back for the single again. Let's go back for the single. That cutter, man. It's catching me off guard. Yo, oh, then the two seam goes back the other way. Whew, this guy's got some good shit, man. <laughs> cut ball, cuts in, two seam cuts away, and now he's going to throw like the 96 heater. High. It's going to get me. Three and two is the count. Come on, Nails. I got to swing. I got to swing at that. Good pitch. Good location. Good thing I foul tipped it off. Early timing. Okay, so 92 four seam. Why was it only 92? I thought it's huh? Interesting. All right, focus. Gotta swing at that. There you go. Gapper, gapper. Yep. Yeah. Could have been a home run, but because I was aiming down, it's going to be a uh, more of a, a gapper than a home run. I mean, you could still be aiming down and get a home run, but if I was holding right the same way I was holding it my last at-bat, that might have been a home run. It was the four scene right down uh, Main Street. Look at that. Boom. Yeah, I was a little late on it, and I was aiming down. I'll take the gapper. So what is that now? Three for three with a single, a walk, a double, and a home run. All I need is a triple, and I got to cycle in this video. Hell yeah. All right, here we go, boys. No out. Here we go. Should I go for the steal <laughs> with a big man like this? No, thank you. All right, Owen one's the count. Come on, baby. Ground ball to the uh, left side, and I'll, I'll go. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. No matter what, I'm going. Yep, you advanced the runner. Good job there, my man. Even though it's, uh, is that two out now? Or is that just one out? That might just be one out. Let's see. I, I don't know if it updates it. Yeah, it's one out. Sack fly time. Come on, boys. Infield is in. Yeah, the infield is in. Could try to steal home. <laughs> Come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. It's through. It's through. Man, I didn't know. The game just told me to go. If it went to the shortstop, they would have gunned me out at home, man. <laughs> I don't know what to do there. Good job, buddy. Yeah, get hype. Let's go. Good job. Boom! Hits that through. The uh, the infield was in. They were trying to make sure that if it was a ground ball, I would not be able to score. But I did. So, three for three with a home run double single. And I had a walk in the last one. Ooh, I can get a friggin' cycle in this game, too. There's no way Naylor's getting a cycle, though. Unless it, like, hits the top of the wall and bounces. And the, uh, the outfielder just misjudges it. We got a new pitcher, though. He's got a sinker, slider, changeup. 
and a four seam. Now the sinker is like can be a bitch, especially if people's sinker sometimes look like a two seam. It goes back across the plate like that. See that? Yeah, that guy. He's got like it's got some good dip to it, but it also goes back like uh, towards his arm. I don't know what the right terminology is, but damn, taking that sinker again. So he likes to throw the sinker. Yeah, that makes sense. What well, uh, ninth inning? Uh, you know what? Ninth inning. I might try to use some showtime right here. I got one, right? Showtime. Uh, nope, that's going to be a ball. Take that. Yeah, he loving that sinker. All right. Uh, you know what? If I can get a walk here, I'll take it. It's one out. So you have the red light right now, Naylor. You are not allowed to swing. Good job, buddy. Way to go. So three for three. Single, double, home run, and two walks so far for Josh Naylor. I like hitting with him. I do. I got to say, boys, I do. All right, so we have that two-run lead. Owen wants to count one out. I'm going to get a little bit of a lead off here. Just see if we can stay out of the double play. There's the pitch. There's the grounder. There's the grounder. Get in there. Oh, man, way too slow. Can't avoid it. Can't uh, disrupt the double play at all. I got a lead off and everything. Don't worry about it. So the singles are nice. The walks are nice. But we got to be able to come through. And San Antonio, we get the W. There's no nonsense at the end. So game four goes to the missions. And we have forced ourselves a game five on the shoulders of Josh Naylor, man. Absolutely fantastic game. And I got to say, I like hitting with him. I really do. I didn't get a single left-handed pitcher in that game. I had the walk in the last game against the lefty, but against righties, ooh, he hits well. I gotta say. Now it's only double A pitching, so I should be able to, you know, destroy these or destroy these pitches. But still, three for three, a home run, double single, and uh, two walks going back to the last game. So for game five, oh man, I might have to choose Josh Naylor. Shit. All right, so game four goes to uh, San Antonio. We have forced ourselves a game five. Now, I'm really thinking about going with Josh Naylor, but, uh, I mean, you guys want to see Fernando Tatis Jr. He's our stud shortstop prospect of the future, so why not? So let's play the next game. Let me make sure I don't mess this up. Player lock, what kind of pitcher? It's a right-handed pitcher. I would love to go with Josh Naylor. I've been hitting well with him. His power against righty, 61, but uh, Fernando Tatis, he's got some power as well, which means I can hit with him. It's just righty versus righty. It's not as good as lefty versus righty. Hmm. You know what, though? You know what? For uh, the sake of video entertainment, we'll go with our best prospect, Fernando Tatis Jr. Let's go. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, for game five of the Double Egg Championship Series, whatever it's called. Oh, man, not a good start, though. First inning. Oh, no outs, runners on first and second. All right, the play is double play. The play is a double play. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Over to second. Runner out at second. Over to first. Yeah, we turn two. Way to go, boys. Fernando Tatis Jr. Kind of took a little bit long to uh, get that ball. Kind of nonchalant. I guess he timed it right, though. See what I mean? It's just kind of nonchalant. I would have attacked that ball. But uh, what do I know? The guy knew what he was doing. Just that runner at first, almost, though. You know what I mean? Like, he really chancing it there. All right, Tyler Baker is up. We still in the... Oh, they got two runs there in the first inning. I haven't been up yet. No one on, one out. Fernando, here we go. Right to him. Grab that ball. Let's see that arm. Nice cannon right to the first baseman. See that line? No dip. No nothing. Nice and strong. Beautiful job. All right, now we can get to work on the uh, at-bat. Or the, uh, oh, man, what's it called? The hitter's box. There you go. <laughs> so bad, man. Oh, I can hear my, I know I'm struggling. All right, hang on a second. Hang on a second. So now I'm a righty. I've had uh, the last, what, five at-bats with Josh Naylor, the lefty. So I got used to hitting with him. Now i got to get used to a righty. Four seam, 91. Perfect. Circle change, curveball. 12-6 curveball and a regular curveball. So this guy's off speed. So slow it down. Slow it down, Fernando. Or look for the four seam. Yeah, you look for the four seam and then adjust. Oh! Oh, the, oh man, the catcher couldn't even catch that. That's why I was like, did it hit me? Man, I would have leaned into that. Curveball 78. That thing's not going to hurt. Get on base for free. Oh, here we go, Fernando. Taking that. Okay, so that's what the four seam looks like. I didn't want to swing at that anyways. Kind of high, kind of tight. And my contact versus righties is at 53. I want something a little bit more centered. Taking that. Oh, circle change. Catches the bottom of the strike zone. Nice freaking pitch right there. Damn, he's got a 1-2 count on those locations. Damn, all right. So aiming down, looking for a single. Got to protect, got to protect. Through, is it through, is it through? Way to go, way to go. Fernando Tatis Jr., way to go. All right, so I'm not getting struck out. Struck out uh, earlier in this video with Tatis. That was my first at bat, but now I'm ready. I'm in the zone. This double-A pitching, they got nothing. They can't blow anything past me. 
It's a four seam. The four seam is my kryptonite. If they have that four seam 95, 96 plus, then that opens up all the options. But if they don't have that, there's no way, dude. All right, so Josh Naylor, the Canadian. Oh, cool. So he's hitting behind me. All right, so no out. 0-2 oh, is the count. Oh, man, might strike out here. Josh, come on, baby. Oh, ground ball. Is it through? No, it's not. Break it up. Break it up. Break it up. Not going to break it up. Yeah, Josh Naylor's not going to be fast enough to beat that sucker out. And now there's two outs. The lead runner has been taken. Yo, yeah, your helmet. You left it behind, Fernando. <laughs> Somebody else can grab it for him. Zach Shank. What a name that is. All right, so they still have that 2 nothing lead. Two outs. No one on. The play is the first. Come on, Fernando. Oh, there you go. Make the move. Make the move. Make the move. Oh, man. Hurry up. Uh, very good. Woo! That was closer than I wanted it to be. I don't know. Like, it, it takes a second for my guy to be able to uh, react. I want to just be able to react right away. All right, so one for one with a single in the second. Man. Oh, we got a runner on third, one out. Okay, okay. Runner on third, one out. Hang on. Let me think baseball strategy. Baseball strategy. The sack fly is good. But the ground ball to the opposite side is just as good, right? So we want to hit a ground ball to the uh, to the right side. No pop-ups, because I don't know if I have the power to guarantee a sack fly. So let's go for a ground ball right to the short uh, second baseman. Uh, okay, ground ball to the shortstop. That'll work too. Good. He's back enough. Good. Good. Don't worry about it. I got the run. I wasn't going to go for the sack fly. Might have been able to go for the single, but if I go for the single, then uh, we might not get that runner home because I might strike out or I might pop it up. I want to make sure that we get that run scored, and I did. All right, so that was a... That was... Ha, oh, it didn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, seventh inning, we are down by... Hang on a second. Seventh inning, we are down by four. Yeah, okay, it's time to cheat. Time to cheat. Uh, settings. All right, everyone in my live streams always tells me to do this, and when we have player lock, why not do it? Uh, hang on a second. Where is... No, 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 not gameplay option. Well, where is it? Gameplay option. There you go. All right, so not directional. We're going to go to zone. There you go. All right, now that we got... Holy shit, this thing is massive down here. What's the difficulty at? Hang on a sec. Oh, the difficulty better be on all-star, or I'll be pissed. Yeah, it's on all-star. Is it just because I'm down here in double A? Oh my god, it's massive. All right, so let's see if we got a home run power swing and a uh, show time. It's the same difficulty. It's just the game. Everyone says to switch to zone hitting. So here it is, zone hitting. Uh, nope, that's going to be a ball. I'll take that. You better not throw the first two pitches balls, man. I only have two. I got to get this, uh, this home run so we can turn it into a 5-3 game. Come on. Come on, throw me something that I can hit. Throw me something that I can hit. Throw me something that I... Oh, this bastard. <laughs> bastard <laughs> all right boys so i'm gonna go back to uh zone hitting now oh my god gameplay or not zone directional my uh <laughs> my uh what's it called the moment or the show moment or whatever it's freaking called it comes up short for me so let's see if i can just home run the uh, the old-fashioned way nope taking that how is that a ball wow this umpire is blind are you kidding me he's been paid off I'm on the, I'm on, that, that benefited me, and I don't even like that. That's garbage. Okay, so let's, uh, red light, red light. You got Josh Naylor up next. Red light, red light. Yep, Pfft, all right. So the top of the strike zone is a ball. The lower third of the strike zone, that's a ball. Are you freaking kidding me? All right, is there any way I can, like, become Josh Naylor here and hit with him? Uh, quick manage substitute settings. Like, can I team select if I do this? Changing a team or adding a second player with the saber. Ah, oh, I can't do that. That's, that's big time oh, cheating. Ah, I should have chose Josh Naylor to start. Come on, Nails. You can do it, my man. One and two's the count. No out. Don't strike out, Josh. The Canadian kid. Do it. Oh. Oh, it's a pop up. Yeah, I ain't going anywhere. You can tell. All right. Let's get back. Damn it. Nice try, Josh Naylor. All right, this inning's not over just yet. That's only the first out. We just need somebody who can advance us. we got to get some runs uh, scored here. All in one's the count. All right, no ground out. No ground out. We're taking out. Ooh, yeah, leading off, leading off. This guy's not even guarding me. Come on. And the pitch. Go, baby. Hit it. Uh, it's another. Is that a pop-up? Where is that? Where is that going? Oh, go, go, go. Go be a home run. Be a home run. Ah, oh, not a home run. So close. That would have been a, what, a 5-4 game right there. The runner advances to third, though. Nice job. And there's two outs now. Come on, boys. All we need is a home run. All one's the count. So once again, the double play doesn't matter. So I'm not taking any chances leading off. Just we need a solid hit, dude. We need a solid hit, and I'm running on contact. Run, run, run. Doesn't matter what. Doesn't matter what. First baseman. It's a dribbler. He picks it up, records the out. I might not get up to bat another time, boys. The game might be over. No! I take it back. We have a chance. 5-2. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god. And it's against the lefty. Oh my god. You want to talk about moments to remember. And if anyone caught my last few live streams, I come through with home runs in the clutch. Now I have two men on, one swing in the back, and tie up the game here in the eighth inning. Hang on. Hang on a second. I've just got to get my, uh, my wits about me. Two outs. Okay, so a home run you definitely want to go for, but also advancing the runners and getting Josh Naylor up with the bases loaded could be beneficial, so don't be swinging at anything here. Alvarez, Alvarez, the lefty Alvarez. I've already gone up against Alvarez, didn't I? It was game one, and I struck out. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. Okay, so the 93-92 changeup and the slider. Okay, so 92-93. I can handle that. All right, come on, baby. Come on. Come on. For now, hang on one more time. One more time. Sorry, boys. One more time. I just want to see my numbers here at the bottom. Can't see my numbers at the bottom. Okay, can I see my numbers here? Fernando Tatis against lefty. 62 and 60. All right, come on, baby. Come on. Just aiming left. Anything inside. Four seam. Crush it. If it's a gap or I'll take that, but you can get a home run. Taking that. There you go. All right. Hitters count. And like I said, if it's a 3-0, red light because Josh Naylor is up next. Oh, lefty against lefty, though. Not good. Shit. Come on. Kadoosh! Ooh, man. Early? Early? I felt like that was a good hit pitch to hit early. Okay, so the four seam right down the middle. I was ready for it, but I was early on it. So slow it down. That's his fastest pitch. Slow it down. Slow it down. Oh, no, I didn't want it. I didn't want it. Even though it was a strike, boys, I was reading four seam. If I swung at that ground ball, I would have been out. All right, so one and two is the count. Just go for a single. Go for a single. You just got to connect. Go for a single. Got to sing. Go, go, get through, get through. Yes, baby. Oh, the runner on second. He holds up at third. Base is juiced for Josh Naylor. Here we go, boyos. All right, you know what? Screw this. Team select. I want to hold I want to be Josh Naylor for this. I got to. The only problem is that uh, I can't do it now. So as I come in, the strike, the count is already going to be, uh, like, there's already going to be a count. All one's the count. You know what? I'll leave him. I'll leave him. Come on, Nails. Come on, Nails. The Canadian. Josh Naylor, two out. Base is juiced. Oh, it's a, oh man, it's a simple grounder. God damn it, why can't we come through in the clutch? Josh Naylor, I could have been him, boys, but that would not be fair. I came through with Fernando Tatis Jr., and that's all she wrote. Damn it, man, Arkansas. Did they win the championship? They won the championship. That's definitely the championship. That ain't the round. We lost in a game five. The dugout's already clear. Ah, uh, the missions have already gone back. No, there they are. They can't believe it. We are one game away. I should have gone in as Josh Naylor, but like I said, a little bit too cheap. I got the job done with Fernando Tatis Jr. Got the job done with Naylor when I was controlling him, but the team was just not good enough to win it down here in double a so congratulations to arkansas uh i don't even know what the uh, championship is called but congrats on winning it brett ash the player of the game but you know what at least we saw some flashes of brilliance josh naylor and fernando tatis jr possibly could be uh on the padres by year three or four man the way they've been playing so let's get back to that menu damn season over the missions double a have been defeated in the 2018 texas league championship series that's what it's called by the travelers better luck next season ah you guys play great don't worry about it and you'll be up in uh triple a definitely for next year both uh fernando and uh josh naylor will make it up in uh triple a for next season and maybe they can win the triple a championship but for this season it goes to arkansas so that uh that is the double a championship boys and now that means that we can get back to the San Diego Padres. Now, in the last video, ooh, actually, the 40-man roster has turned to 26-man. Hang on a sec. Excuse me. Oh, I can't even talk right now. That game took a lot out of me. Uh, hang on a second. Let me just go. Wait, wait, where am I going? MLB. There you go. MLB roster. If I go all the way down to the bottom, who's the worst player on this team? They must have just got called up. Uh, Batista. Is there any young players? Yeah, there it is. Matt Skuser. He was down there in double-A. I recognize that name, but now he's been called back up. So I guess he was on the 40-man roster, and with the September call-ups, he's automatically come up. Now, I left it with you guys in the last video when it comes to our triple-A guys. Uh, Kyle Quantrell, Luis Urias, Mackenzie Gore, the rest of our starting pitching, and a few other... Uh, 
outfield players and infield players. Um, should we add them to the 40-man roster right now just so that we can bring them up for the rest of the season? And it seemed like that would be a bad idea. If we do that, we go down the same route as Theo Perky Nips Perkinson from our Oakland A's franchise where he gets stuck on the team. We have to play him or we start using his... Uh, minor league options then they run out and he's still not ready to go and we should move on from him it just creates a big mess so we're not going to do that until we know for a fact these guys are MLB ready and I would wait until they're in their mid 70s 73 74 that's when you can give out those uh those 40-man roster, uh, what are they called? Slots, whatever it's freaking called. So we'll just continue our season here with the San Diego Padres. Before we start, I'll just show you where we sit in the standings. 54-94, 28 and a half games back of the Dodgers. But remember, we are fighting with every other team in the league to have the worst regular season record. So 61 for the Rays, 54 for the Tigers. So we're tied with Detroit. 64 for Texas. Uh, 57 for Florida, 60 for Pittsburgh, and uh, there we go again at the Padres. So 54, we're down there with Detroit to let us keep on failing, so we can have the uh, or the uh, we can have the first overall pick for next year, and any player that we want in that draft class, we can select. Let's just continue here. I'm going to go with uh, critical situations on in case something spectacular pops up. I'd love to uh, be able to hit with Eric Hosmer now after hitting with Josh Naylor. That'd be a good, that'd be a good. Um, observation i know it's going to be different with mlb pitching but still they feel like lefties versus righties i really like what josh naylor was doing so let's finish this up let's uh last two games against the texas rangers we lose 73 and we win a four to one next series up against the san francisco giants who are 74 and 76 i don't know if they're going to be fighting for a playoff position hang on a second american league national league where are they san francisco nope they're nine games back of the dodgers maybe a wild card spot they've got to win like every single game though they win game one uh player lock milestone perella has an 18 game hitting streak on the line keep it alive no thank you simulate to the end of the game the giants have defeated the padres seven to nothing so they take that one and game number three we win it eight to seven what a ball breaking game for the uh san francisco giants next up the best team in our division the la dodgers who the San Francisco, San Francisco Giants are now 10 games back. They were hoping for a three-game sweep, and then we could sweep them. Maybe they'd have a chance. Oh, they have three more games against us here. Yeah, San Francisco, they could have maybe... Let me, you know what? Let me just figure that out. Now, I, I'm mentioning it a lot. It's actually got me uh, interested. Uh, where are they? There you go. All right, so the Giants. Now we go to the wild card. Where are the Giants? They're five and a half games back of the Rockies and the Brewers. Yeah, so they would have been four and a half games back if they won that game with three more games against us. Yeah, the wild card is a serious possibility for the San Francisco Giants. That third game sucks, though. All right, so game one up against the Dodgers. Oh, here we go. Perella has a 20 hitting ga or game hitting streak on the line. Keep it alive. Runners on first and second. Down by four. Ah! You know what? No. Simulate to the end of the game. The Dodgers have defeated the Padres 8-3. to Perhaps he got that single. Who knows? Game two. Uh, Perella needs a triple to hit for the cycle. My God, this guy's tearing it up towards the end of the year. Simulate to the end of the game. The Padres have defeated the Dodgers 9-6. to And the third game of the series, we win it 2 to Damn, we beat the Dodgers 2-3. or How does that even happen? I mean, I'm getting angry now because I want to lose games. Hang on a second. 58, 63, 56 for that freak, man. We're two games ahead of them. One game back of the, uh, of the uh, what's it called? Florida Marlins. Come on, boys. Start losing. San Fran, you're still at 500. I don't know if the playoffs are a possibility anymore for them, but just beat us. Come on. Game one. There you go. Six to nothing loss. Game two, uh, you've got a one-run lead to protect. Close it out with hand. I could just get in there and throw meatballs to them. No, I won't do that. Simulate to the end of the game that the Padres have defeated the Giants 4 to 3 and the last game of the series we lose it 8 to 2. Okay, so final series of the season. What we're going to do because we didn't get a uh, a playoff series in year number 1, the great thing about the playoff series is that you get to do the quick manage, which is a lot of fun. The last game of the series or a last game of the season, I should say, we will do a quick manage game, all right? So game one, uh, you've got a one-run lead to protect. Close it out with hand. Simulate to the end of the game. Uh, the Diamondbacks have defeated the Padres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game two, we win it 7-5. to five, And the last game of the season. Let's go into a quick manage. All right, so a quick manage game. Yeah, we'll have some fun with it. And if there are any... Uh, 
bases loaded opportunities that we can jump in there and uh, and uh, take advantage, hit a grand slam with Eric Hosmer or something. That would be fantastic. So let's go, boys. Let's play ball. Robbie Erlin. Let's see if he can get a uh, no hitter this time because I'm quick managing. I won't take him out. Don't worry, Robbie. Seven and eighteen with an ERA of four oh five. My God, that's not good. And uh, should we be? You know what? I'll save Jose Bautista. That would be a great. Yeah, that's going to be a great. What's it called? Pinch hitter later on. Why isn't Will Myers? Uh, Will Myers starting. Perella, Hunter Renfro. Oh, I guess it's a lefty. Yeah, we must be going up against the left-handed pitcher. All right, let's go play ball. You know what? Hang on one second. Ah, much better. So, the last game of year number one for the San Diego Padres. It's a rebuilding franchise, boys. It's been a rough season, but year number two should be much better. Let's go out on the right note with a victory here on front of our fans against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Robbie Erlin, he had a no-hitter going earlier on in the season. Let's see what he can do. Jared Dyson. All right, so there's no point in looking at to every single player. I'll wait for situational. All right, so pitch. Ground out. Way to go. Kettle Marte, second baseman. Good against uh, good against righties, not so much against lefties. Pitch, ground out. And Paul Goldie. Goldschmidt, baby. 98 against lefties. 84 for power. Discipline, 99. Clutch, 99. Yeah, we need a hitter like that. That would be nice. Pitch. Bye-bye. <laughs> No-no. Bye-bye. Perfect game. Paul Goldschmidt goes yard. Jake Lamb, he's much better against righties. Yes, he is. All right, so not good against lefties, but he gets a walk. David Peralta, not uh, got the greatest power against lefties, but can still hit, and he flies it out. All right, so we're going, to, we're going up against Robbie Ray, 85 overall, left-handed pitcher. Manuel Margo, he's 82 overall, real good season for Manuel. And we got another month done, so we can also, we can also see what kind of growth these young players have had. So Manuel, swing, pop out. Carlos, oh Jesus, I'm not even going to try. Our second baseman, swing, strikeout, and Eric Hosmer hitting two. 289 on the season with uh, 21 dingers. Yeah, we were working on that power. His power is going up. 66 for power versus righties and 55 for lefties. Just wait for year number two and three. Year number three specifically. All right, Eric Hosmer, swing, strike. Not good. AJ Pollock, pitch, fly out. Nick Ahmed, pitch, solo bomb. Are you kidding me? Nick Ahmed? He doesn't have power, does he? He's a shortstop. Next time he comes around, I'll have to take a look at that. Jeff Mathis, pitch, fly out. And Robbie Ray, their pitcher, strike out. Hunter Renfro, he's got all the power in the world against lefties. 95 for power, just got to work on that contact. Swing, strikeout. Jose Perella, this guy, I don't know how many how many games he's got now with his hitting streak. Is there a way I can tell? No, there's not. Good luck, my man. Uh, swing, fly out. Freddie Galvis, our shortstop, swing, ground out. Not good. Back to the top of the lineup. Jared Dyson, pitch, single. Ketel Marte, fly out. Goldie with a home run hitting, oh man, he's hitting 307 on the year. Unreal. Pitch, double, RBI double. Goldie's incredible. Jake Lamb, pitch, strikeout. David Peralta, that's going to be another RBI double. And the Arizona Diamondbacks are taking off with this one. Ground out. All right, Christian Villanueva, his name is so long, doesn't fit on the screen. Swing, fly out. Austin Hedges, swing, fly out. Robbie Erlin, our pitcher, strikeout. Not a good game right now for the Padres. <laughs> Nick Ahmed, how kind of power does he have? Fucking power against lefties, 47. He hits a solo bomb like it's nothing. Pitch, fly out. Jeff Mathis, fly out. Robbie Ray, ground out. Yeah, one, two, three inning. Manuel Margo, swing, ground out. Carlos Asuji. Fly out. Eric Hosmer. Fly out. Oh, my God. This is bad. Uh, Jared Dyson. Single. Ketel Marte. Stolen base. Might think about pulling Robbie Erlin. Marte. Fly out. Goldie. Pitch strike. Oh, my God. He struck out Paul Goldschmidt. Uh, it's unbelievable. Jake Lamb. Pitch strike out. Good game. Uh, not a good game. Good inning. Hunter Renfro. Sing single. Jose Perella. Strike out. Freddy Galva. Strike out. Christian Villanueva. Strike out. One, two, three in a row. Strike out. It's my God. All right, Erlin. You got one more mistake in you. Pitch. Fly out. AJ Pollock, ground out. Nick Ahmed, strikeout. One, two, three inning. Austin Hedges, what is it? Bottom of the sixth. Strikeout. Robbie Erlin, I'll go a pinch hit right now. Robbie's done. We'll go with. Uh... We'll go with uh, Will Myers, sure. Why not? Good luck, Will. Will. Last at bat of the season for Will Myers. Swing, single. Way to go, Manuel Margo. Strikeout, Carlos Asuji. That's going to be a ground out. The Padres have a positional player on the mound. All right, so let me just pitching change. We'll throw in. Uh, We'll throw in Carter Caps. There you go. He's got some energy. Good luck, my man. Top of the seventh. We are down by four. It's not over just yet. Jeff Mathis, strikeout. Robbie Ray, ground down. They're leaving Robbie in there. Jared Dyson, walk. 
Ketel Marte, strikeout. All right, Hosmer, come on. I know it's a lefty. Let's get some uh, some runners on the bases so I can go pinch hit Jose Bautista and send him off to his retirement. Swing, strikeout. Hunter Renfro, swing, fly out. Jose Perella, strikeout. <laughs> This is bad, man. Pitch strikeout. Jake Lamb fly out. Peralta single. AJ Pollock fly out. All right, so bottom of the eighth. We've only had two hits. Robbie Ray is on fire. Freddie Gallup a strikeout. Christian Villanueva single. Austin Hedges strikeout. Carter Caps uh, pinch hit. Let me bring in. Let me bring in Coleman. Yeah, sure. Why not? Good luck, Coleman. Swing single. All right, here we go, Manuel Margo. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let Manuel hit. If uh, he gets the bases juiced, yeah, we'll bring in what's his name, Jose Bautista. That would be nice. Come on, just get the bases juiced, just just for the video purposes. Manuel Margo swing. Ah, damn it. The Padres have a positional player on the mound. All right, Dusty Coleman, you could not pitch. Uh, pitching change. Let's go with. Uh, let's throw in a start. Starting pitcher, share for Domo. Good luck, my man. Pitch, fly out, Mathis, strike out. Robbie Ray, is he going to stay in there? I guess so. He's got the shutout on the line. Oh, my God. They're not letting them go into the ninth inning. Alex Avilia. Uh, isn't he a... Uh... Yeah, he's a catcher. Never mind. Pitch, fly out. All right, so they're going to have to bring in a pitcher here. So let me swing away just to, uh, just to start because they'll do a pitching change. There it is. Good. Oh, it's a lefty. Damn it. I was hoping it would be a righty. I don't know how good uh, Jose Batista is against lefties. All right, Batista, you will come in after. You might switch in for Renfro if the first two guys get out. Carlos Asuji, swing. Oh, it's a walk. All right, Eric Hosmer, fielder's choice. Now, this could be a double play. Uh, and then I won't be able to hit. So you know what? Yeah, let's enter the game. So here we go. We got uh, one out, a bottom of the ninth. Hunter Renfro is up against lefties. You know what? Why not use him? I want to stay out of the double play, but I'm pretty sure I can stay out of the double play if I just aim up and not swing at anything low. So let's see what uh, Hunter Renfro with his 95 power versus lefties and contact versus lefties up at 74 can do here. I want to I wanna, I wanna take a hack. I'm going to take a hack here. See if he's somebody that we should keep with that A potential or trade with that trade value. Because that A potential is going to have massive trade value. But we don't want this guy to come back around and bite us in the ass, right? So what's this guy, uh, McFarland? Sinker 91, two seam 91, slider, and a changeup. All right, so not a lot of velocity, but he's going to have good makeup and control. I had all these uh, at-bats today in double A. This is, oh, excuse me, this is going to be much different. Oh, my God, energy drink coming back up. Here we go, baby. Taking that. All right. Do I have the green light? I have the green light to swing, but nothing low. Nothing low, all right? Only something high, Hunter. We do not want to hit into a double play. No, no, no. Too low inside. That's like a ground ball to third base. And then I can't get Jose Bautista in this video. we got to go out with uh, Joey Bats. Come on, baby. Nope. Oh, man. Again, that's a ground ball waiting to happen. I'm not doing it. I'm not looking four and five in the exact same position. Good lo pitch location here. All right. Come on. No double play. Ooh, game didn't give it to me. Let's see. Was I late? Late time, and that was a home run pitch. All right, a little bit late on that. Come on, Hunter. Don't hit into a double. Don't hit into a double. No, no, yeah. All right, all right. Here we go. Jose Bautista can come in and get us back within one. Beautiful. And it's going to be a righty. Good. Archer Bradley. I don't know if that's good or not. Jose Perella. Okay, so let me just see. Should I hit with Perella? I don't want to hit into a double play. No, we'll go Freddy Galvez up next. No, 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 no. We got to do it. All right. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. What uh, is probably going to be Jose Bautista's last at-bat of his career here in MLB The Show 18 after year number one. Contact versus righties, 40. <laughs> but his power versus righties up at 68. So if, uh, if I get the right timing on a four-seam right down the middle... And the game decides to give it to me, you know, it's it's not impossible that he could a home run, uh, hit a home run. And it's disciplined up there at 85, so come on, Joey Bats. <laughs> Pinch hit Joe Jose Batista for Jose Pirelli, yeah. <laughs> Pirelli's like, what the hell? There he is, boys, Jose Bautista. He's coming up to the plate for what is most likely the last time in his big league career. All right, hang on a second. Make them wait. Make them all get pissed off. As a Toronto Blue Jay fan, this is only right. This is only fitting. So let's see. Whoa, new pitcher. What is it, Bradley? What does he throw? Well, I'm screwed. Four seam up at 97. Knuckle curve at 83. Cut fastball at 91. And the change up at 88. So the change cut and knuckle curve, they are enhanced by the fact that the four seam is 97. This is the problem I run into with pitchers that pitch this fast. I can't see anything else. Green light. 
Whoa, my God, he's trying to plunk Batista. He doesn't want to get the uh, the bat flip from hell. <laughs> that thing was fast. All right, come on, Joey Bats. Joey Bats. Joey Bouts. Taking that cutter. Should I even, you know what, maybe I should just go power swing. Screw it. Just go power swing the entire, you know what, power swing. Aiming up and left, power swing with Batista. <laughs> it's going to crush it. Come on. Nope. All right, green light, Batista. You gonna walk, Batista? And his last at bat—that is ridiculous. Throw me something, you asshole! All right, up and away, up, up and in. Sorry, power swing. I'm swinging. Green light, swinging. Oh, oh, Batista! He just misses it early. Oh man, the hit speed was on a one. It was so tight. It was inside. I couldn't. Ah! All right, come on, Batista. Come on, Batista. Oh, again! Again! I'm crushing these, man! Early? Oh, man, I'm early. See? It's the four seam. That It looks like the four seam, so I'm trying to swing nice and early, and then that happens. All right, Batista, just aim up. Power swing. If I strike out, I strike out. I'm swinging. Power swing, no matter what. Power swing, boys. Wish me luck. Batista. Oh, and he walks in his last at bat. You won't attack me. At least we got to see some of the power on display by Jose Bautista. Taking it to uh, left field, real left field, left left foul territory. Uh, but Batista on the bases. All right, you can run the bags. Freddie Galvis up next. Uh, do I have any other power hitters? I mean, I got a, a walk, not a walk off situation, but a grand slam situation. Freddie Galvis against righties. He's got power of 50. Let's see. Nope. 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 And then there are my pitchers. No, I got nobody. All right, so you're staying in there. Whoa, what's, what's my power again? 50? 50. Freddie Galvis, 50. Well, I still want to hit it deep. That's the thing about... Whoa, whoa. Is that thing... Yeah, go away. I still want to hit it deep. And because he's throwing 97, I might be able to. So, good luck. Taking that. Ooh, here we go. If I can get a walk here, then all of a sudden I have a walk-off opportunity. <laughs> Grand slam. All right, come on. Take your time. This guy's uh, controls all over the place. Taking that. Yeah, cutter again. The cutter looks like the four scene. This is the problem. So I, I, I thought that was a four seam. So I decided not to swing. But I, even if I did, I would have been way early on it. Oh, was that the cut or was it the four seam? I'm early again. Let's see. That's the four. I'm early on the four seam. No way. All right. I don't want to aim down, but I got to. I know it sucks. I want to stay out of the double play. But I want to go for a single. I don't want to pop it up. Stay. Oh, man. Four seam dart. I thought it was low. Got to admit, boys. He struck me out that straight up. Fair and square. I went to, uh, I really thought it was going to be a low ball. Nope. All right, Villanueva. He's got 49 for power. Bases juice. Come on, baby. Let's get something here for the fans. Give me a pitch to hit. Damn it. Nope. Oh, my God. I'm blind. I'm plump. I get paid off. I'm an um. Are you freaking kidding me? The change up. That down and away. Out the, there's no way I'm hitting that. All right, come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Ooh, that's going to be, I don't know, that's going to drop in, drop in, drop in, drop in. Oh, what a fucking idiot. What an idiot. Go, 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 go. <laughs> what a goofball. A freaking routine play in center field. And the guy drops it. <laughs> I didn't know. I was like, please drop in, please drop in. Who is that in center field? AJ Pollock? How does he drop that? Oh my god, he ran past it. What a moron. And that's got to be the worst feeling in the world. Running back to get a ball like that after it should have been an easy catch. Austin Hedges can tie the game up or walk it off. Power 62. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Let's go. All right, come on, Austin. You got this, baby. Taking that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Umpire likes the stuff on the outside part of the plate. Inside, it's a ball. Come on, Austin Hedges. Catcher of the future. Just got to improve his stats a little bit. Oh, well, there you go, boys. <laughs> Come on, happen again. Drop it again. Drop it again. Drop, 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 drop. And Jake Lamb doesn't make that mistake that the center fielder did. And year one comes to a close for the San Diego Padres. All right, boys. Uh, very disappointing. Well, disappointing would mean that we had expectations. It's... It's not like it's a shocking season at all. We know we were garbage. And uh, once we realized that the playoffs were not going to happen whatsoever, that's when we traded away our older players, got some young prospects, and uh, started to lose games like crazy to improve our draft pick for next season. So based on that, I, wanna, I won't say um, 
disappointing because we achieved our goals. It was uh, by the numbers. We were expected to be shit, and we were shit. 60 and 102 is the end uh, record for the San Diego Padres. Hang on a second. Let's just compare that to the other team. 60, 65, 60 for the Detroit Tigers. Now, I don't know how the tie breakers work. You guys can let me know. 60 for the Marlins as well, so it's a three-way tie. So the worst thing we'll get is the third overall pick for next season. And uh, considering we have a lot of uh, pitcher prospects already, you know, usually pitcher prospects get taken first. We can maybe get the best hitter, or the best fielder, the best infield, the best catcher. We can really target one of those guys. But that comes next year. Now what we have to do is the crazy offseason stuff. So hang on a second. Advanced day. I don't want to advance the day just yet because when you go into the playoffs, then you can't take a look at the stats anymore. So let's go through the stats. Uh, we're going to end it here and then we can uh, leave it with a question for you guys on what we should try to accomplish in the offseason. So first off, standings. Uh, the National League West was won by the Dodgers with a record of 91-71. and 71. The Diamondbacks seem to have won the wild card. The Giants were four games back, so they could have been two games back if they beat us twice. Yeah, see what I mean? That's just killer games. Uh, the American League East goes to the Toronto Blue Jays. Unreal. With no speed, no defense, not a lot of contact, good pitching, and a lot of power, the Blue Jays have won the American League East above the Yankees and the Bo Sox, who missed the playoffs with a record of 90 and 72. I mean, 18 games above 500, and they miss out on the uh, the wild card. Let's see. The Red Sox. Oh, no, no, no. They're still fighting for the. Then never mind. It was a tie between uh, Boston and the LA Angels. They'll have to have a, uh, a playoff for the wild card spot. That sucks. They got to win two games in a row just to get to a best of five. Uh, hang on a second. Let me go back here. Central goes to the Cleveland Indians, only team in that division to finish above 500. The American League West, the defending World Series champion, Houston Astros. Uh, the Angels with Trout and Otani trying to make it in. They got to face off against the Bo Sox. Uh, the National League East, Bryce Harper and the Nationals with 107 wins. My God, the only team in that division, the Mets. The Mets, the New York Mets, they're not going to be happy with that season. The National League Central, the Chicago Cubs looking to win their second World Series in three years. Back at it with 100 wins. The wow. Oh, look at that. What is it? Uh, Milwaukee Brewers. I'm forgetting these names. Milwaukee Brewers with a season of 94 and 68. That's a great year for them. Uh, and then we're back to the National League West. Uh, league leaders. So we'll just go through the National League, and then we'll go through the American League. You guys can take a look at this. I'm uh, just, just look at the top. Anthony Rendon wins the batting average for the National League. Lorenzo Cain with the most hits. Most at-bats, Lorenzo Cain, so that makes sense. The most doubles, Lorenzo Cain. Milwaukee Brewers... Really relied on him this year. Triples, Adam Eaton. Uh, home runs, Joey Votto with 56 dingers on the year. My goodness gracious. From Canada, baby. 34 years of age. Look at those numbers. So that's the kind of player that we want to get. That's the kind of player that I want to draft. You know, a good time hitter like that, man. Forget about it. Uh, RBIs, Joey Votto. Yep. Uh, runs, Lorenzo Cain. He was a tank this year. Good Lord. What do you do? Hit 316, on base 371, 88 RBIs, 21 home runs, uh, 219 hits, 121 runs. What's his war like? Hang on a second. Oh, the stats that you guys tell me I should be taking a look at. 7.6 war. This guy was so valuable to the Milwaukee Brew at Brewers this season. Uh, stolen bases, Jared Dyson. Base on balls, Joey Votto. On base percentage. Now, if we're going to go to Moneyball Tactics, these are the players that we want to bring on. Rendon, uh, Harper, uh, Eugenio Suarez, 88 overall. You'd want to find a guy who doesn't have the greatest overall, so he's easy to acquire. But yeah, there you go. Pretty good on-base percentage there. Slugging percentage. Uh, what is that? OPS. Oh, shit. Um, I don't. I forget what that is. I forget what that is. You guys let me know. Wins. We're going to the pitchers now. Max Scherzer of the Nationals. Yeah. Uh, Zach Davies with the losses. Only had four losses. Scherzer had five losses. Saves goes to Archie, Ar Archie Bradley. Well, maybe that's why it was hard to hit him. Fifth, uh, what was it? The 97 mile per hour four seam. Yeah, it was hard to hit off Archie Bradley. ERA goes to Max Scherzer. He's going to win the Cy Young for sure. Home runs allowed. All right. Blah, blah, blah. Complete games. Uh, yeah. Innings pitch. Walks allowed. Blah, blah, blah. Whip. Max Scherzer, unreal season for Scherzer. My God. Pitching war, Scherzer, 7.7. .7. Batting war, Bryce Harper. Yeah, look at the Nationals, man. Harper and Scherzer just, just own that team. Hits. All right, now we'll go to the American League. Uh, Carlos Correa with the most hits, 214. I mean, Altuve, number two. They have friggin' Josh Reddick, number five. That they, they, Alex Bregman. 
Number eight, that team gets hits, man. At, ba at bats, Josh Reddick doubles, Alex Bregman triples, Malik Smith home runs, Giancarlo Stanton with 58. So the home run leader of the year for both leagues goes to Giancarlo Stanton. RBIs, Carlos Correa runs, Mike Trout. Stolen bases, D. Gordon. Base on balls, a Joshy e. Donaldson. On base percentage, Josh Donaldson. Way to go. Francisco Cervelli. Damn, a catcher with that kind of on base percentage. That is great. Mike Trout. All right, all these guys down here. What about Otani? Is he in here at all? <laughs> Let's see the pitching stats. Uh, wins. Corey Kluber. Man, the starting rotation for uh, Cleveland is on fire, man. Three out of the first four belongs to Cleveland. Their pitchers went deep or just got the right run support in the right games. Uh, losses. Daniel Norris, only two. Uh, saves. Darren O'Day with that submarine style. 51. Roberto Osuna with 50. ERA. Corey Kluber. Uh, home runs allowed. Shutouts. Kluber. Kluber might have won the Cy Young. Strikeouts. Chris Sale, 253. Complete games, Kluber, innings pitch, Kluber, uh, whip, Kluber, pitching war, Chris Sale, 7.7. I don't know, it's going to be Sale or Kluber, it seems like. Batting war, looks like that. Mike Trout, batting average, all right, hits. And there it is. So that's our, those are the stats or the league leaders from around the league. Now, if we take a look at our players, you know what? I'm not going to look at player stats. I'll quickly look at it, but we know it's not really a, a, a season where we take a look at all these guys. Jose Batista, eight hits, 296 batting average. Way to go. Eric Hosmer. We'll take a look at these guys individually from the managed roster screen. So starting pitchers. Danilson Lamet, uh, he got some growth, though he can come back for next season. 82 overall, that's good. Uh, I just want to find the guys with the potential right down here. Perdomo, all right, so Cal Quantrill, all right, so good growth out of him. I'd say another season in AAA for sure. Mackenzie Gore, good growth out of him, same thing. Uh, Espinoza, good growth out of him. And Adrian Morjon, good growth out of him. So all these guys got good growth in AAA, and they're going to stay in AAA for next season. But we're going to add Tatis Jr. and uh, and Josh Naylor. So AAA should be fantastic next season. Uh, closing pitchers, catchers, Austin Hedges, uh, good growth. We're trying to get his contact versus lefties and righties to at least 50. And then he'll be one of the best defensive catchers in the league who won't hold back offensively. He won't be, he won't be uh, a hindrance. Or a disadvantage. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it won't be a... Uh, not a blunder. Not a blunder. Shit. Oh my god. What's the word I'm looking for? He won't be a responsibility. Oh my god. What's the word I'm looking for? It's right on the tip of my tongue. A burden. There you go. He won't be a burden for us with 50-50 content. I, I needed to get that word out, man. It was on the tip of my freaking tongue. Eric Hosmer. All right. So some good growth out of him this year. Just got to continue those power numbers. Josh Naylor. Oh. Uh, a little bit of decrease in the power only by one but everything else went up by one so or at least up by one so that's good uh, Lewin Diaz don't worry about that Carlos Arugi this guy's our second baseman good growth out of him so we could definitely use him for next season throw him right he might actually become a pretty good second baseman uh third baseman these guys they are growing nice and slow though it's not like they're top tier prospects here we go our shortstops Luis Urias all right, plus fours, plus fives, plus everything's across the board. Good. He's 69 overall. And Fernando Tatis Jr., yep, plus threes, plus fives. So these two guys, shortstop, third baseman, second baseman of the future, we've got to grow them correctly, all right? Maybe you guys can chime in. Who's got the uh, better stats for third, second? Uh, I would take Fernando Tatis oh, at shortstop with that 68 arm strength over Urias, 59 arm strength. He could play second or even third. His secondary position is third. Yeah, that would work. Uh, left fielders, Jose Perella. So he had a great season, but because his potential is C, he dropped off. Might be somebody, well, we could bring him back. We could bring him back. It's not like we can trade him right now anyways. Uh, Manuel Margo, good growth out of him, which is good to see. Uh, and then right fielders, Will Myers. So he started to grow again. His power numbers started to go back up. His fielding numbers are good. Yeah, I'd like to hold on to Will for one more season, see what we can do. And Hunter Renfro, take a look at these stats. It's just his contact versus righties that's low. His vision, discipline, and clutch, if they can get to 50, 55, 60, then he's perfect. Uh, his fielding numbers could get better, but he's got a nice arm out there. So what he lacks in speed and fielding, he makes up for in his cannon. And uh, like I said, his power versus righties, it's decent. He's just got to get that contact. If his contact versus righties gets to 60, vision, discipline, and clutch, I'll get to 55. This guy's going to be a stud of a hitter. So I don't want to give up on him just yet. So that is that, boys. Those are the numbers for the San Diego Padres. Now, calendar. Let me just uh, advance day. Yeah, advance day. Uh, calendar. Are we still in the playoffs just yet? Advance day. I want to make sure it's like 
Yeah, the Padres have finished the season at 60 and 102. Unfortunately, this wasn't good enough to make the postseason. Better luck next year. So if once that that pops up, you can no longer take a look at the uh, individual stats, the league leaders, uh, or can you? Maybe it's one more game, yeah, because it'll show you the league leaders of the playoffs. So, but it looks like Boston ended up defeating the LA Angels in that playoff, and now they're up against the New York Yankees in the wild card. So you got Cleveland versus Toronto in the ALDS. Houston awaits the Yankees and Bo Sox in the ALDS. You got Chicago versus the LA Dodgers in the NLDS, and Milwaukee versus the Diamondbacks. Wild card game. The winner faces off against the Washington Nationals. So you guys, let me know what our plan should be for the off season any coaches players trades anything and everything and we will take that in the next one i have to devote an entire video to the offseason because of the micromanaging it takes a while but uh, that's where we can make our team better for year number two and uh, the way i'm seeing it the way i see it is year number two might be another shitty year might want to bring in some players that we try to grow and then unload them for prospects again at the trade deadline. We might want to hold on to Hand, Myers, and uh, Hosmer because by year number three, a bunch of our AAA players are going to be MLB ready. It seems like year number three is going to be the magic year where it starts for the San Diego Padres. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the offseason in the next video. Hey guys, Johnny here, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content content. You can also swing by our website, which has forums and a live chat. That along with Twitter allows us to play with our subscribers in our GTA lobbies or the 24-7 open Minecraft server, where you can build with others or play in one of the many mini games across Superbia. Our Patreon account helps us support our website and the Minecraft server, and we also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of shit. I should have gone with Jose for Fernandez. Oh my God, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to shit all over me. Grand slam, oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500, no divisional win. Trip to the wild card, first inning.